everyone i am dr anjali kumar i am the director of department of obstetrics and gynecology at ck billa hospital gurgaon and today i am going to be speaking to you about a very important topic which is the polycystic ovarian syndrome now this is a modern epidemic modern gynecological epidemic which is affecting almost one in every seven urban women today so pco pcod or pcos are the variations of almost the same problem pco is polycystic ovary pcod is polycystic ovarian disease pcos is polycystic ovarian syndrome so what are the manifestations of pcod uh typically these are the women who first come to a gynecologist with a complaint of irregular periods the periods could be either delayed or they could come early the periods could be scanty or they could be even heavier uh typically these are the women who find it difficult to lose weight they uh, complain of unexplained weight gain many of these women may actually have lot of acne and they have lot of hair growth in their body they also many times complain of scalp hair loss so these symptoms typically happen because of excess of male hormones in the body also uh, these women there is a higher chance of type 2 diabetes they may have high blood pressure they have sleep disturbances there's something known as sleep apnea and uh, they may have uh, a higher chance of coronary artery disease and also it has been said that these women have a higher chance of developing endometrial malignancy in later life if the pcod remains untreated so now let's talk about what causes pcod why is it that the urban modern women are falling prey to this epidemic so very much so typically it is said that probably there could be some genetic reasons to it it has been seen that uh, women where there is a positive family history of diabetes or high blood pressure or obesity they tend to have pcod uh the major factor which causes pcod according to most of the scientific uh studies is that there are some important lifestyle factors which are at play which means probably uh there is exposure to some kind of a wrong diet you know processed refined packaged food intake then sedentary lifestyle so women who are inactive or physically not being uh, doing some kind of exercises they always are at a higher chance of developing polycystic ovarian disease also stress is also supposed to be one of the important reasons which predisposes a woman towards developing pcod so uh, the basic pathology uh, you know whether it is a genetic factor or the lifestyle factor it is said that there is something known as insulin resistance which is the basic pathology for developing the pcod so to understand what is insulin resistance let's first understand what is insulin so insulin is a hormone which is secreted by a gland called pancreas in our body so the job of the insulin is to make sure that the glucose from the blood is picked up by the cells for their use well which means when you eat a food the food is absorbed in form of glucose into the blood stream and from there the cells all over the body they pick up that glucose because of insulin now in these patients who have pcod somehow the insulin is not able to do its job so as a compensation the body produces even more insulin now which leads leads to a rise in the levels of insulin in the body medically we call it as hyperinsulinemia now those high levels of insulin in the body in turn stimulate the ovary to become bulkier and to produce abnormal hormones and those abnormal hormones in turn lead to irregular periods lead to weight gain and host of other manifestations which pcod patients have so the basic culprit was insulin resistance which means that somehow the insulin is not able to do its job well 
Now let's understand why the insulin is not able to do the job well. So what is the reason for the insulin resistance? So here also there are three main reasons which causes insulin resistance. Number one is exposure to processed, refined and packaged food. So you all have to remember to eat healthy and stay away from packaged, refined and processed food. Second reason for the insulin resistance is lack of physical activity or sedentary lifestyle. Now this somehow leads to uh, an abnormal fat and a muscle ratio in the body. So whenever we have higher fat content and lesser muscle content in our body, this leads to abnormalities in the functioning of the insulin metabolism. So the biggest uh, help which a person can do to take care of the insulin resistance is to exercise and develop the good muscle mass in the body. And third reason for developing the insulin resistance is high level of stress in the body. So stress is something which causes chronic inflammatory state in the body. And now the recent scientific studies say that PCOD is also a chronic inflammatory state in the body. So another thing which we all must understand is that insulin resistance is not something very simple. It just doesn't cause PCOD. It can cause type 2 diabetes, it can cause high blood pressure, it can cause abnormal lipids in the body, it can increase the chances of a person developing heart disease also. So it is very very important for us to identify who are those women who are at risk of developing insulin resistance and once we've identified them, it is very very important that the insulin resistance is treated well. So how do we treat the insulin resistance? Number one, as I said, that you need to be taking care of your diet. You need to be learning to eat healthy. Secondly, you need to be exercising well. Needless to say that you need to be working on your stress levels. And yes, of course, in case all these measures fail, yes, we have the medical treatment available. So there are a lot of drugs these days which we can put a woman on to take care of the insulin resistance. So PCOD is the new gynecological epidemic and it must be treated well in order to avoid future complications. So be aware, read well, and in case you have PCOD, do visit your doctor, get your diagnosis made, and if you found this information useful, please share this information with your friends and family. And thank you very much.